This is the Visoflex, which is an electronic viewfinder. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you some scenarios where this device may actually help you get a better picture with your Leica M11. And the first reason why someone may gravitate towards a Visoflex is because of focus refinement. More specifically, when we're talking about apertures greater than f2, f1.8, f1.4, f1.2, and so on, the Visoflex is going to be an outstanding tool to allow you to refine your focus due to the shallow depth of field for those wider apertures. Not only that, we also have the capability of punching in in your image. I actually have configured this button right here, so when I wanna refine my focus, I punch in a couple of times, zoom in my image, thus allowing me to refine my focus more accurately. Last but not least, we also have focus peaking, so if you like that, you can also engage focus peaking to assist your focusing and nailing focus almost every single time. Now, this one is a big deal for those folks that wear prescription glasses like myself. The Visoflex features a built-in diopter, and you know how cumbersome it could be trying to frame a 28 millimeter, 21 millimeter, and so forth, wearing glasses with a range finder, sometimes seeing those frame lines is almost impossible. Now with the Visoflex, you can remove your glasses, adjust your prescription with this diopter on the side and see naturally. Exposure. That is going to be another reason why I may use a Visoflex. Now, when you're shooting with a range finder, all your attention goes to acquiring focus. And if you're shooting manual, a lot of the times, you know, you have to rely back on your screen. Let me take a look at my ISO, my shutter speed and so on. Now with the Visoflex, all that information is right there. So if you wanna focus on something, you know, you're just worrying about that. And if you gotta make adjustment, you have all the information there so you can make adjustments on the fly. And if you wanna see further sample of the work with the gear that I review here in the channel, make sure to follow me on social media, Instagram, TikTok, and X at Gaston Shutters. Focus shifting issues, and that may be one of the reasons why you wanna use a Visoflex. Focus shifting or aperture focus shift is the phenomenon that happens mainly with lenses that were designed for film, vintage lenses, lenses that were designed you know, several years ago. Now, it doesn't happen to all the lenses, and this affects specifically lenses of faster apertures, such as f1.8, f1.4, and so on, or at least you know the focus shift is gonna be more noticeable with those lenses for obvious reasons. So as you step down those lenses, you are gonna notice sometimes, you know, a variation in the focus feel. So that problem also exists in film cameras, but you know, it's more prone to kind of like be masked, you know, with film photography. Now in digital times with screens and sensors with resolutions like this one, 60 megapixel, or being able to download an image and zoom it in in your computer, this issue is much of a problem. And the reason is because sometimes, for example, when you're taking a picture of a portrait, you're at the minimum focusing distance, your hand is rock steady, steady and you nail the iris and you go, boom, there's no way that this is gonna be out of focus. You reveal the image just to realize that your eyebrows are razor sharp in focus or your ear. And this is a problem that is mainly due to um, some of the mechanics of the lens and the coupling with a range finder. And again, some lenses, not all lenses. Now, when you use the Visoflex, you're bypassing that mechanic system because you're looking exactly to what the sensor is seeing, does allow you to make changes on the fly. Lower angles, and as you guys know, the Leica M11 or M10 or any of the prior Leicas don't have a tilt screen. As a matter of fact, the only one that has one is the Leica Q3. So when it comes to lower angles, you have a couple of options. Option number one is to come down all the way with your body and take the shot. And option number two, maybe to zone focus, aim at your composition, hit the shutter and hope for the best. Now this last option may not be as reliable as you may want it to be because the uh, results can be a little bit different. A lot of the times you may introduce a little bit of shake or your framing may be completely off. Now with the Visoflex, you can simply articulate this part of the EVF like so and take the shot, you know, looking down like so and snapping that photo. Now this also has an added benefit specifically for those photographers, you know, that like to shoot street photography because a lot of the times if you're trying to shoot a crowd or a person or a situation, most of the time they're not gonna realize that they are being photographed or at least if they look at you, they're gonna think that you're keeping it to yourself, doing something with some device out there and you know, call it a day. All right, and right now I have in front of me a list of improvements that I would like to see in future versions of this Visoflex. And the first one is gonna be kind of like the bad ergonomics and design that this thing have right now. 
And to be honest with you, I think the Leica could have done a much better job. Take a look at this thing, it's just like a box on top of the Leica. And in my opinion, it doesn't flow that well, it doesn't look that well. I think the Leica could have designed something a little bit better. This thing actually has some hokey corners, and I'm talking about very, very sharp corners. Specifically when you are going to angle the viewfinder like so, and you put your eyes, a lot of the time this little corner right here pokes me right in the eye many, many times. And one time I even drew blood from my eye socket right there. I put it like way too fast and snapped me right there, you know, not a big deal. It is also sharp here at the bottom and even when it's closed, you know, you can feel the sharpness right here at the bottom. The following are gonna be requests that I think like I can accomplish via firmware update. The capability of being able to move the focusing target by scrubbing the corner of the screen or a portion, kind of like the Sony's uh, cameras do because they don't have, some of them, they don't have a joystick and that's how you move your focusing point, you know, looking through the rangefinder EVF and then moving your focusing point. And for that reason alone, I find myself using the screen, aiming and, you know, trying to focus. And I'm gonna sum it up for you guys. So I bought this thing a year ago, but I recently started using about six months ago. This thing has been in my backpack nonstop. And for the main reason is that now I have glass that can actually focus closer than 0.7 meters, which is the limitation of the range finder. But with the Visoflex, that's not a problem. So that begs the question, what is Leica waiting for to release a similar camera like the Leica M11 with either a hybrid viewfinder like the Fuji X100V, which has an optical slash electronic viewfinder, or maybe a camera that has a dedicated electronic EVF, kind of like the Leica Q, Q2, and Q3. Obviously, Leica is not gonna make, in my opinion, a Leica M11 or M12 with an electronic viewfinder because the M, you know, stands for um, rangefinder, and I don't think the Leica would like to mess with that but maybe they can come up with another model or maybe a Leica Q model that has an M mount, you know, something like that. I would love to see that product. So guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. As always, you can follow me on Instagram at Gaston Shutters. Give this video a like if you had enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. I'll see you on the next one. And while making this video about how sharp the corner of this Visoflex is, take a look at what happened to me right there. Just got a minor scrape, but yeah, imagine that in your eye, no fun.